Welcome back for another Radclusive video. Today, we're going to discuss the X-ray tube. Before we proceed to this video, don't forget to click the like button, share to your friends, subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel, and click the bell icon for more Radclusive videos. This video covers the components, operation, and limitations of X-ray tubes. The purpose of the X-ray tube is to produce an X-ray beam. The X-ray tube contains a negative electrode, that when the current is applied to it, will produce a mass of electrons that will interact with the positive electrode in order to produce X-rays. The negative electrode is on one side of the X-ray tube. It is called the cathode. The cathode contains a filament. The positive electrode is on the opposite side of the X-ray tube. It is called the anode. The anode contains a focal spot, where the electrons interact to produce the X-rays. During the production of X-rays, they are emitted in all directions within the tube. The X-rays that are emitted through the thin window of the tube housing make up the primary beam. The thin window allows for the maximum amount of X-rays to be transmitted with very little absorption in the beam direction. The remaining X-rays are absorbed by oil, which provides electrical insulation and cooling for the tube. The housing protects against electric shock and absorbs leakage radiation emitted outside the X-ray beam. The X-ray tube is a vacuum tube with two electrodes, the cathode and the anode. These components are housed in an evacuated glass envelope made of Pyrex glass to withstand the tremendous heat generated by the production of X-rays. All air is removed from the glass envelope creating a vacuum which allows electrons to flow from the cathode to the anode. The vacuum allows an efficient production of X-rays and also extends the life of the tube. The cathode is the negative electrode of the X-ray tube. The function of the cathode is to produce a thermionic cloud, conduct the high voltage to the space between the cathode and anode, and focus the electron stream as it speeds toward the anode. It contains the filaments, focusing cup, and wiring for filament current. The purpose of the filament is to provide projectile electrons for acceleration to the positive anode. The filament is a coil of tungsten alloy wire that is heated to boil off electrons. Tungsten is the material of choice because it has a high melting point and resists vaporization. Rhenium and molybdenum are also suitable materials. The size of the focal spot is determined by the size of the filament coil. Modern diagnostic X-ray tubes have two filaments one large and one small, called a dual focus system. The large filament is used when high X-ray production is needed. The larger filament produces a larger focal spot to distribute the heat over a larger area, which allows higher tube currents without damaging the anode. The smaller filament produces a small focal spot when sharper images or better spatial resolution is required. Lower tube currents should be used with small focal spots. Focal spot size is selected automatically by selecting larger or smaller MA stations or manually by the focal spot size selection. The focusing cup is made of nickel and has two shallow depressions which contain the filaments. Electrons with their negative charge tend to diverge in a wide pattern because of electrostatic repulsion. The low negative charge on the focusing cup surface forces the projectile electrons together into a narrow beam as they are accelerated toward the anode. When sufficient MA is applied, the electrons begin to build up into a cloud around the filament. This is called a space charge. The electrons reach a point where their negative charges begin to oppose the emission of additional electrons in a phenomenon called space charge effect. Upon turning on the X-ray machine, a low current flows through the filament to warm and prepare it for the high MA necessary to form a thermionic cloud. When the filament current is high enough for thermionic emission, a small increase in filament current results in a large increase in tube current. The positive anode contains the focal spot, which is the area where the projectile electrons stop. The anode is located on the positive side of the X-ray tube, and it has three functions. First, it serves as a target surface for high-voltage electrons from the filament and is the source of X-ray photons. Second, it conducts the high voltage from the cathode back into the X-ray circuitry. Lastly, 
it serves as the primary thermal conductor. The anode must be made of a material with a high melting point because most metals melt at these temperatures. Tungsten rhenium alloys, which melt at 3,400 degrees Celsius, are commonly used as the target focal track material in anode construction. Tungsten is the metal of choice for three reasons. 1. High atomic number. 2. High melting point. And 3. Heat conduction ability. The rotating anode consists of a target, shaft, and rotor. Rotating anodes spread the heat produced when the electrons bombard a circular track, rather than concentrating the energy in a single spot on the anode surface. Most anodes rotate at about 3,600 revolutions per minute. Some high-speed tubes rotate at 10,000 revolutions per minute for greater heat dissipation. The anode, shaft, and rotor are sealed inside an evacuated tube. The rotor is made up of a shaft of copper bars with an iron core in the middle. The shaft, connecting the rotating anode to the rotor, is made of molybdenum and is supported by bearings. Molybdenum is a strong metal with low heat conductivity. Its low thermal conductivity prevents the anode heat from reaching and damaging the rotor bearings. Bearing damage is a major cause of tube failure. In the rotating anode, the circular path that will be bombarded with the electron beam is called the focal track. The terms target, focal point, and focal spot all refer to the area on the focal track where the electron beam will strike. Actual focal spot is used to describe the actual area on the focal track which is impacted. While the effective focal spot describes the area of the focal spot that is projected out of the tube and toward the object being imaged. That concludes our video for the X-ray tube. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to click the like button, share to your friends, and subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel for more Radclusive videos.